I seek is a world. One that requires no spirit, it would be a perfect world. Minted in Jerusalem with the image of Donald Trump, King Cyrus, and the third temple on it. This is the exact value according to Levitical law of a half shekel, the price it would cost for an adult male to enter the temple. This raises many questions. The main questions we'll be addressing today will be why is President Trump, the American president, King Cyrus, a king who was against the Jewish people 2,500 years ago, and a third temple minted on a coin that can be used as entry to that same temple that doesn't yet exist. And we've got to come together, not only as a nation, but as a world community. Bring forth the new world. Mike Pompeo said Trump is building a new world order. We're bringing about the dawn of a new world order. So we're gathered here to discard the old world of discord and conflict and make a much better one in place of it. The first two years of the Trump administration demonstrate that President Trump is not undermining these institutions, nor is he abandoning American leadership. Quite the opposite. In the finest traditions of our great democracy, we are rallying the noble nations of the world. Our president walked into a darkened room at a new center for combating extremism and placed their hands atop a glowing orb. The lustrous orb is supposed to be directly connected to the dawn of time. A brand new paradise of peace. Our Cyrus is a real peacenik through and through. In pursuit of peace. Our vision is one of peace, security, and prosperity. For peace and yearns for peace. These are the blessings of prosperity and peace. Build a new liberal order that prevents war and achieves greater prosperity for all. All of you are absolutely great. You've got to remember that. We have a lot of great, uh, we have a lot of great people here. We get our great, great people. I had some great people and have some incredible generals. We're going to help a lot of great people. We know the right people. We are the chosen ones after all. I am the chosen one. Do you believe you're the second coming of God? Everything is ready for the creation of a new world. And now everything will end, and there will be a new beginning. Cyrus is the ancient king of Persia who conquered Babylon, where the Jews were living in captivity. Now, Cyrus didn't do it for the Jews, he did it for Persia, his country, but it had the happy side effect of allowing the Jews to return home to Israel. So Cyrus, you see, is an unwitting conduit, a, a vessel for God's will. But nothing in the Bible says he was the antithesis of what the Jews believed in, the way Trump is the antithesis of what Christians are supposed to believe. And for this cause, God shall say send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Do you believe you're the second coming of God? That they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Actually, the, the pause there was a little bit longer. A chapter in the Bible that mentions Cyrus is Isaiah 45, and Trump is the 45th president. <laughs> Mr. President, you gave me the dragon energy when you shook my hand on Sunday at your rally, and it doesn't matter if King Kong was in front of me, I was not going to lose after getting to shake your hand. Uh, you are <laughs> to Cyrus, whose right hand I have holden to subdue nations before him. It is with these original powers that I will create a new world order. And I will loose the loins of kings to open before him the two-leaved gates, and the gates shall not be shut. America first. A new world order. Presidential decrees cascading from President Trump's pen. To have originated with Mount Coronet. Just try imagining the beginning of the world. A time of no war. A brand new paradise of peace. Peace. Security and prosperity. The NSA Security and Counterintelligence Directorate, also known as the Q Group, is the agency's internal police force. We are rallying the noble nations of the world to build a new liberal order. And we've got to come together, not only as a nation, but as a world community. Not only as a nation, but as a world 
community. The birth of a pure new world is soon to be upon us all. We will reinforce old alliances and form new ones and unite the civilized world. There we have the double-headed eagle representing his uh, Scottish Germanic uh, her heritage. Make order out of places where there is chaos. That is our role. I am the one who is finally going to bring order to this chaos. Yes, Cyrus, sir. I'm free. And I give you my word. No one will ever stop me again. And he's the leader that will lead us to the promised land. Let's get rid of this system. And he's the man to do it. New liberal order. Build a new liberal order that prevents war and achieves greater prosperity for all. They call it Halo. The Covenant kept saying that whoever controls Halo controls the fate of the universe. But it shall not prosper. For the end will still be at the appointed time. While returning to his land with great riches, his heart shall be moved against the Holy Covenant. So he shall do damage and return to his own land. At the appointed time, 